So we have ADFS installed in one of the servers and we have web application proxy to proxy all the requests, uh, you know, of ADFS outside of the firewall. So let's get started with the integration. So the first step is to add ADFS, uh, you know, as a SAML integration in Zero Trust portal of Authn. So for that, we need to log in to Authn and uh, click on add integration here. And since it is a custom integration, we'll click on this plus and give an appropriate name, click on continue. And we'll have the SSO endpoints and entity ID and the IDP certificate. So we can copy all this and you know, download the certificate. And now we need to configure all this in the ADFS server. So now we are in the ADFS server and we have opened the ADFS uh, management console. Here we need to add claim provider trusts. So we will be adding IDs authen as a SAML claim provider trust. So for that, we need to click on add claim providers, start. So we'll be manually providing all the details of entity ID, SS4 URLs and the certificates that are required. So display name, this is Authen. Ready. And click on next. So here we need to give the SS4 URL of Authen. So we need to paste that, click on next. And here the claim trust identity provider is the entity ID. So we'll be giving the entity ID that was displayed on the Authent portal, Zero Trust portal. We click on next. And here we need to add the certificate uh, from the Authent again. So that is uh, here we have placed the IDP cert, select all file and uh, as you can see here, it's saml.getid.ed, which is the certificate from the Authent portal. Now we can click on next and uh, next and close, right? So now what we need to add is, uh, you know, uh, by default, this will uh, create a WS Federation claim trust provider. So we just have to end edit this in order to uh, make it a SAML uh, provider. So what we need to do is we need to add SAML here, select single sign-on and uh, again, paste the SS4 URL. And this would be redirect the binding and click on okay. And we can remove the WS Federation and click on apply okay so now uh, the authent id is configured as uh, id is authent is configured as the claim trust provider in adfs so now to verify this we can access the idp initiated url of uh, the adfs so now we have accessed idp initiated url of adfs and we can see that Apart from Active Directory, we have IDEs Authen as one of the login options. So once uh, Authen is uh, configured as a uh, claim provider trust in ADFS, so we need to configure uh, uh, the claim rules. So for that, we can click on edit claim rules and add a rule uh, to pass all the incoming, uh, you know, claims back to ADFS, right? So for now we'll get just name ID from Authent. So we can specify name ID as the rule name and we can we can select name ID and uh, we'll receive it as an email address from the Authent. So we can select email and this will basically just pass, you know, does a pass through of all the uh, claims, claim value for the name ID to ADFS so that it can send the claim values back to applications as required. 
yes and apply okay and now we are you know uh, the configuration is complete uh, from the adfs end so now we have to download the metadata file from adfs uh, to upload it to authn authn portal so this will be the url to download the the metadata of adfs so we'll just use that and now we can see that the method metadata uh, were downloaded now we'll see uh, you know the metadata here <clears throat> so from the adfs metadata so we can search for spssu uh, descriptor tag and uh, we need to keep only this you know information when when we are uploading the metadata to authens ide rest of the tag will have to remove them uh, in order you know uh, to configure uh, ide's authen as uh, idp to adfs so we just have to keep spssu descriptor tag and we can remove uh, the other things from the metadata now we have a clean metadata with uh, only the required uh, spaces for descriptor tag uh, with the certificate and um, the url bindings that are required so now we have we'll have to upload this metadata onto zero trust portal of uh, authen so now we are back to authen portal so here uh, we'll click on upload metadata and choose the file. So we have ADFS metadata from the ADFS side and we can choose web authen with uh, the QR code scanning as the authentication and we can save it. So now the configuration is complete. So now we can test the authentication. So for that, we need to access IDP initiated URL of the ADFS. So this will hit the web server uh, and you know, uh, web server works as a proxy uh, for us. So now we can select sign into this site or we can also choose the applications that are configured to ADFS in this option. So for now we are selecting sign into the side, site itself that is ADFS and click on sign in. So now it redirects to you know the login page where we can select whether the IDP uh, is uh, Active Directory or Authen IDE. So we'll select Authen and uh, it should redirect us to the login page. So now we have two options. Uh, one is the Authen as a SAML claim provider. The other is the Active Directory, uh, which validates uh, uh, AD credentials and generates the SAML or WS tokens, right? So now uh, we'll see how we can enforce uh, Authen's passwordless authentication for all the domain users. So in that sense, we'll have to disable uh, uh, the Active Directory authentication uh, for ADFS and keep only Authen as uh, the trusted claims provider so that all the users are enforced to go through uh, Authen's passwordless authentication. So to disable Active Directory authentication, so we have a flag uh, in ADFS which is called local authentication types. So depending upon the versions of the ADFS running, uh, this, this flag uh, uh, can be found uh, in different places. So in ADFS uh, 2.1, we'll have to edit the config file. Uh, in ADFS 3 uh, or later, we'll have to execute uh, a command. So we are on the version 2.1 and uh, we'll see how we can edit that uh, flag to disable Active Directory authentication from ADFS. So for that, we need to go to C drive and uh, access Windows and go to ADFS and search for uh, 
the config file here on the list, which is Microsoft Identity Server and Service Host.exe.config. So this is the file uh, that we need to edit in order to disable Active Directory. So here we need to find a flag called the local authentication types. So here we have the local authentication type, which is true for now. So that's why we can see Active Directory as one of the option uh, on the login pages. So we'll make it false in order for us to uh, have only Authent ID as the claim provider, as the trusted claim provider, so that everybody is enforced to go through Authent. So now the file is saved, the flag is turned to false. So now let's restart the ADFS services. services.msc and we have Active Directory Federation services. Let's restart. So now if I try to access the same IDP initiated URL of EDFS, instead of uh, showing the two options, I'm redirected to uh, Authent directly for authenticating. 